What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we are going to talk about the old weapon system. The weapon system seen in Destiny 1 possibly returning to Destiny 2. These were the words of Bungie via the latest stream which we will see in a second. But hey guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here, also be sure to subscribe for almost daily Destiny videos. Okay, so Destiny 2 is a game which on most levels was a letdown. From the start, September last year, the game has fell floor after floor it's kept falling now it's almost at ground zero and we are all waiting on changes to elevate the game back up many changes have been discussed many changes have been announced and some released we had the recent go faster update the 1.1.4 update patch which in turn speeds up many things about the game mostly within pvp we wanted exclusive rewards to chase They've also been added, probably not in a way and quantity as we like, but there's always time to improve that. We wanted Eververse to become redundant, that's been kind of done. We wanted exotics to feel more exotic, changes are being made and coming soon. We wanted a faster time to kill, which is also being worked on and we will cover that in a second. We wanted more transparency from Bungie, we got that. We wanted more content, which is coming. We also wanted the weapon system to revert to how it was in Destiny 1 and people I have some good news but first about this old weapon system a primary a secondary and a heavy weapon slot the old weapon slot system layout was perfectly fine among other things it was changed for the sequel of the game which was mind-boggling this system is more than just a layer of weapons it affects many many aspects of the game we loved about the first game and dealing miss in the second game. This doesn't take a genius to see. The PvP players you could do having shotguns, snipers and fusions in that secondary slot were incredible. It also added to the pace of the game which we missed from Destiny 1. Speeding up supers, respawn timers and agilities within supers won't bring this fun fast paced playstyle back. The strategies for PvE using a hand cannon or scout paired with a sniper and launcher that really isn't possible in Destiny 2. I mean, things might seem small on scale, but the overall effects they have on a game were massive. We've seen it take place since the release of Destiny 2. The old weapon system was more than just a layout, like I said. It changed more or less every element of the game, as you'd expect in a looter shooter, just like you'd expect from random roles. So Bungie via the latest Bungie Bounty stream where Cosmo played Mayhem on PC, Deej was taking questions about the game from the community and this one popped up. Take a look. I really wish D2 weapon system returns to primary, special, heavy. It was better that way. Is my wish reasonable? I mean, yes, I think that's a reasonable request. I think uh, ultimately though, like we want to, we want to, we want to do something better. Either way, we're going to... We are actively working on weapon slot changes right now. Like, right now. Something this is a thing we are going to change. thing that we are doing. Uh, I can't... I can't talk. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. He states they are working on weapon slot changes right now. So a change is coming. Is this a change we will welcome? Will it revert back to how Destiny 1 was? Details are not known. But they have confirmed that the weapon slot system is indeed changing, which I suppose is great news. Hamrick does say, ultimately though, we want to do something better. This something better, I suppose, means they won't be reverting back to D1, maybe evolving upon that. Who knows? But I cannot wait to find out for sure. So next up, we're going to talk about the time to kill. Now, time to kill in Destiny 2's PvP has always been an issue. The issue is because, like everything else, it was better and faster in D1. Seeing as most of us spent most of our lives in Destiny 1, it's something we came to expect within Destiny 2. Well, that wasn't the case. From the get-go in Destiny 2, weapons within PvP almost all the time offered a slower time to kill. It was also felt more so because of how PvP was in terms of things being slowed down. 6v6 changing to 4v4, maps basically staying roughly the same size. Things felt real slow and quite honestly, real boring. People complained and complained and complained and complained and eventually Bungie noticed after the game dropped floors. They started to listen, they became more transparent and they delivered things we wanted. They introduced the Go Faster 1.1.4 update, which in turn has made PvP a lot more fun. It now does indeed feel a whole lot better, but a faster time to kill is needed to match the fast pace it now has. 
Since the 1.1.4 update, which also offered certain effects to weapons and so forth, a weapon has popped up out of the woodwork known as the Vigilance Wing. It has now become the go-to weapon for most PvP players. It offers one of the fastest time to kills the game has, and it's a weapon many people are speaking about. When I was watching the stream, they were asked about the Vigilance Wing and Deej forwarded a question asking them what they were going to do about it. Considering it's now ruling PvP, Henrik answered with that they're not actually going to nerf the weapon but instead bring everything else up to that standard, in turn dropping the time to kill across the board, which is what we all want. Here, take a listen to this clip. So update 114 was about character speed, it was about making more weapons more powerful. Yes. You talked a lot about bringing the hero moments back Correct. in your mo recent developer commentary on YouTube. Uh, in season three, exotic weapons will also be increased with their lethality, which should make you're yeah, absolutely going to see the average TTK get significantly faster. We're, we're, I don't want to spoil anything because I think you guys are going to talk about that a lot over the next couple of weeks. So there you heard him say, you are definitely going to see the average time to kill get significantly faster. So there we have it guys and in my opinion this is great news. Bad news is though, we don't know when said changes will be coming. Now sometime soon we will get a new roadmap as announced by Cosmo on Reddit coming early April. But until then, these changes although seem great could not be here for another six, seven, eight months. We just don't know. Bungie ain't really known to push out weekly updates. Plus the 10 year old game engine the game is built on also limits what they do. But hey guys, at least we know things are in the works. And on that note guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get it right.